A well-known Garland business owner and Marine veteran is the victim of a violent attack. And Clarice, even more alarming, it happened during a busy time of day when you think that people would stop to help. Fox Sports Natalie Felice is in Garland tonight where the victim was jumped. And this is a story that you'll see only on Fox 4. Natalie. Well, Heather, here it, it happened here on Broadway. As you can see, it's a busy street, lots of traffic. And that business owner uh, was just walking to this ATM over my shoulder, never thinking that he'd be attacked. And what's even more disheartening is that no one tried to help until finally one woman came to his aid. Got jumped on, but thank God I'm still here. Tony Rodriguez's first yeah. day back at Hair Creations, his Garland salon of three decades, after getting pummeled Monday at the start of evening rush hour. Before you know it, I was on the ground. I felt a hard punch to my head. The 57 year old father yes, of three. Is, I'm, I'm walking this way. This is making Broadway his usual along. deposit at this Bank of America ATM just a half block away. He just walked up, and before the machine could accept the first bill. And I remember the words, give me your money, give me your money from far away. And I wouldn't let go of the cash. And they kept pounding and pounding. And the Marine veteran who served seven years and proudly displays his staff sergeant stripes didn't have a fighting chance. He couldn't see much, but believes he was attacked from behind by several teens in a red truck, hit repeatedly with a hard object, splitting his forehead, fracturing his arm before the attackers drove off. I'm waving my hand, but at the same time, I'm pouring down blood. And people are looking at you and just driving by? Yes. I was asking for help. I was asking for somebody to give me a hand, and nobody was there. I would never ask anyone to put themselves in harm's way. However, is if you see something like that, report it immediately. One woman finally jumped in and called 911. That could have been my last day. Rodriguez knows his customers, employees, and family depend on him. So he's back at work, sore and shaken, but now with a message. It was just a matter of about spreading the news to be careful. And uh, just to take heat and always never, never go alone. Those attackers got away with $250. Garland police say thanks to that woman who called 911, not only did they get a vehicle description, but also a license plate, and they are following up on that. Heather? It is so good that she did get involved, Natalie, and thanks to Mr. Rodriguez for his service to our nation, and hopefully he will have a good recovery right. very soon. Natalie, thank you.